Hey, welcome to Gold Scratch. Long time since I made a video. Uh, busy working and trying to get stuff out of the shop. But uh, so we're going to make a little short video about uh, this 602 Chevrolet crate engine. Uh, just before I get into that, uh, the last engine or one of the last the uh, videos was about my Chev 235 Blue Flame 6. And there it is in the crate, uh, ready to ship. Uh, transmissions down there somewhere and a few other spare parts miscellaneous parts and uh, we're just waiting for the paperwork and documentation to get this thing uh, shipped out of here so so back to the subject at hand is the 602 and these are a very well known and very popular engine they're a GM performance grade engine and this one is the these engines are sold and used uh, for racing only, but GM makes uh, versions of the both the 602 and 604 uh, that are basically the same engine, the same rods, crank, camshaft, manifolds, all that stuff. And the only difference is the oil pan and valve covers and dress-up stuff. Accessories are designed for street cars instead of race cars. So there's a disclaimer on here, of course, that this engine can't be used. Uh, anywhere but in a race car but uh, that's the reason why so uh, once again these engines are used uh, in racing and in all over North America in our case in Ontario uh, the the only engine that we're allowed to use uh, other than a built engine which is a different formula is the is this 602 engine and so super stock this is a super stock class in late model, they use a, a very similar engine. Uh, it's basically a, a power upgrade from the 602 called the 604. And that's what's used in, uh, in pro late model in Ontario and pretty much all over North America. But let's talk about the 602s because this one belongs to uh, Trevor Culver Motorsports. And as you may know, I work for Trevor Culver Motorsports. Uh, in the summer and one of the things I do for him is take care of his motors. So this is a backup engine. He's already got uh, another one and we did a dyno uh, back in January. We did a dyno test of this is the number one engine and there is a video on my on my channel uh, about that dyno test if you want to check that out. And uh, so this one's basically a, a backup engine and it'll eventually find its way into the car. And my job today is to get it ready to put in the car. So let's talk about it. Uh, one of the things to note, and I'll come back to that, is this engine has a flat tap of camshaft. So like every other engine with a flat tap of camshaft, the camshaft has to get broken in. So uh, that's one of the things I'm going to do. It's going to end up on my test stand. Uh, today I'm going to prime the oil system. Uh, I've got uh, driven Joe Gibbs, used to be called Jib, Joe Gibbs, now it's called driven braking oil with high zinc content and that's what we'll be using to uh, prime the engine and break it in and uh, we'll go through that whole process on the test stand later and I may make a video uh, about that as well. So let's describe the engine for those that aren't familiar with it. Um, these are a highly reliable engine. And once again, many, many versions of the GM performance catalog with almost the same engine only for street use. But uh, let's start with the block. It's the, uh, the uh, it's a four bolt main block. It's the 880 casting uh, GM performance block. And it's actually the same block as used in the 604. And once again, four bolt main block. Yeah, with a one-piece rear main seal, which is uh, a lot nicer, a lot easier to seal than the two-piece seal is, and they just do not leak. There's not an issue with them. Uh, they are externally balanced, uh, crankshafts externally balanced, and the reason is they had to take that little counterweight off the back of the crankshaft to make room for the one-piece seal. So that's why the, the balancing gets done uh, not on the vibration damper, but on the flywheel. So it needs a special flywheel that uh, makes up for that. So yeah, back to the engine itself, the, the 602 block and 604, the 880 block, are really intended for roller camshaft setup. It has the spider hold down devices uh, inside. And uh, 
So using a roller cam in these engines doesn't require link fire lifters, which is really nice and they're a lot less expensive that way. So uh, these are the preferred blocks for uh, building high performance even street motors. In fact, I got a couple 880 uh, block castings coming in in the next little while and I'm going to build a couple engines using them on spec and I will use a roller cam in them. But because of the rules for these engines, they come with a flat type of camshaft. So once again, we have to break it in. So uh, the other uh, features of this engine, it comes with uh, Vortec heads, the Vortec style heads. And as you can see, by the way, the intake manifold mounts, the vertical mounting bolts, uh, mount, that's how the Vortec heads uh, are mounted. And anybody that's ever assembled an engine likes that, they're a lot easier to align and seal uh, because of that design. They also have the center bolt valve covers. If you see the bolts there. Uh, and uh, they also seal a lot better than the old style uh, valve covers. The valve sizes are, are not the big 202 valves. Uh, they are, the big valves are in the 604s, but the 602 are 602 Vortec heads. They're standard, vort they're, they are standard Vortec heads. 194, uh, 1.50 valves and they just have push-in studs and the interesting thing about these engines is that if you download the manual or look at the manual from GM or the warranty from GM which it doesn't have with these engines on Ceres engine but the it says do not exceed 5500 rpm and so then they go and make a bunch of rules in super stock racing that say you can go 6,400 RPM, so guess what happens? Everybody goes 6,400 RPM all day long, and for some reason, they manage to hold together. The valve springs are only 80 pounds on the seat and less than 200 pounds open, and uh, I'm amazed, even when we dyno these engines, that they can stay together uh, for extended periods at 6,400 RPM, but they do. But that is, at the same time, the weakest point of these engines is the valve springs, so we change them regularly uh, to make sure that we don't have don't have valve spring failures. Because if that happens at high speed, you pretty much got uh, you got some grad chart, uh instead of an engine. So, so the other thing that's interesting about these engines is see if I forgot any of the, of the factors that I wanted to mention. Uh, aluminum intake manifold. It's a four barrel manifold but in uh, a lot of the classes that are used all over North America uh, and as a super stock class in Ontario uh, we can only use a 500 CFM two barrel carburetor to uh, in, in racing so I will actually start it up with my shop four barrel carburetor but when it goes in the car it'll have a two barrel carburetor and they're rated at about 350 horsepower with a two barrel with a two barrel carburetor so one of the other things to note, uh, what can we do with these engines? Not very much. Uh, basically just tuning. As you can see, they are what's called a sealed engine. So they come from the factory uh, with uh, General Motors approved and the sanction bodies approved seals. And there's an example of one on the intake manifold. That's instead of a, an intake manifold bolt. So there's two on the intake manifold. There's the other one. There's two on each head. There's two on uh, the timing cover. Where is it? I lost it or something. There it is. Two on the timing cover, one on each side, and on the oil pan. So you can't do anything to these things, uh, once again, other than, other than adjust the valves and tune them. And that's about what we're gonna do once we get the cam broken in. So. If you're interested in 602s, in fact, you could take one of these engines, dress them up with street accessories, put them in the street, and they'll run just fine. In fact, back to my Camaro, it's still there, waiting for spring. It's got a 604 in it, and that's just what I did. I put street accessories on it, and uh, it, it came out of our race car, and uh, put it in the, in the street car just like that, put a a dual plane manifold on it and uh, you know street accessories and it runs just great on the street so hope you found that interesting i will probably make a follow-up video when i get this engine uh 
on the test stand and get it running. Uh, thank you for watching Gold Scratch.